Those guys you see standing around the track, those are turn marshals. Sometimes these trucks get upside down, and the turn marshal's job is to go out, put them back on all four wheels, and let them go, hopefully as quick as possible so you don't lose much time. We're down to one minute remaining in the 110 scale expert gas A main. So far, it's the number seven of John Brazy comfortably out front. When time expires, every truck on the track will be allowed to complete its lap. And the driver who's completed the most laps in the quickest time will be declared the winner. Right now, it looks like number seven, John Brazy. He's got it wrapped up, but let's see what's going on behind him, if anybody can catch him. One little bobble, and it could be all over for the seven. Here comes John over the start finish line, and that one's in the books. Your winner, the number seven, driven by John Brazy. Congratulations, John. Finishing behind number seven, John Brazy, are number two of Albert Gardato, number eight, Todd Cameron, number three, Brent Aston, and rounding out the top five, the number four of Gene Hickson. The cars are on the line for the start of the 1-8 scale. A main. These buggies are going to fly. This is what everyone came to see. A little bit of contact there. A lot of contact coming through the first turn, but grabbing the whole shot is the number five of Gene Hickerson. A lot of trouble behind him. Here comes Gene over the first jump. He's flying through the air. He's got some company now. Look out. There's contact. Cars are flying. There's one on its side. This is going to take a while to sort out. Looks like the number eight gets through there. That is Todd Tanner in the lead, followed by number five, Gene Hickerson. It's going to be a long race. He may not stay there, but right now, number eight, flying through the front straight and around the turn. These cars are controlled by FM radios. Each driver should have two different sets of radio crystals in case somebody shows up with the same one he has, there won't be a conflict and he can still race. Looks like Todd Tanner is building a comfortable lead here in the 1-8 scale A main. Those guys you see at ground level underneath the, the driver's tower, those are pit crews. They're there to help in case a, a car breaks, needs some repairs, or to refuel it. This is a long race, and these buggies can't go the whole way on one tank of gas, so you'll see them come in periodically to refuel we still have eight and five battling for the lead. Todd Tanner and Gene Hickerson. Gene Hickerson is falling off the pace. Challenging for the lead now is the number two of Bobby Tillman. Still out front is number eight, Todd Tanner. Third place driver is the number zero of Davis Moran. going to take a pause in the action and conclude the 1-8 scale A main from Lake Paris Race Park. But first, let's get a word with Sean Reese, one of the local racers. I've been doing it for a long time, and I think it's a good sport. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but everyone gets together. It's a good family sport. Gas motor, got your gas tank, pipes, almost set up like a big car. What a servo is, is a small box. When you turn your wheel on your transmitter, it sends a message into the receiver and it lets you know that this will go forward to make a left-hand turn or right-hand turn. The tracks here is perfect. I like this track. It's a little bit, you can get out here and actually really drive. Um, everyone's here is nice. The guys here take care of the, especially the younger kids that don't, you know, just get into it. If they don't have a part, you know, they'll, they'll help you out and give you suggestions. Everyone's pretty nice here. I've been to quite a few tracks and I, this is probably the one I keep coming back to. 
If you know of an event that Whistle Stops viewers would enjoy, we want to know about it. Please visit us at www.outdoorchannel.com and click on the Contact Us button to give us your idea. Whistle Stops will be right back after these messages. Now, the number one selling hair removal product in the U.S. has a new look. Introducing Aussie Nads Hair Removal Gel for Men. Made in Australia from all natural ingredients, Nads for Men works straight from the jar with no heat. Leaves you touchably smooth and hair free for up to six weeks or longer. No wonder we strip the competition without a scratch. Think about the gymnasts, the swimmers, the cyclists. Use a product that is simple, it's clean, there's nothing sexier than a smooth body. Nads is the way to go. Read the directions, use the soap, spread the gel thinly, make it last, lift, again, strip. Now spread the balm for a finishing touch and you're smooth for up to six weeks or longer because you have better things to do. Great for athletes who need an edge without the burn. It was developed out of somebody's kitchen and it's all natural. It's clean. You don't have to heat anything. You can use the same strip over and over. It's very easy to use. Safe and easy to use on your back, shoulders, neck, ears, eyebrows, chest, arms, and legs. I can see definition. Women are now looking at me more. I just feel way better about myself. You made the dream come true for me. Fresh, fast, fearless. First, Aussie Nads for Men. Reach for the blue. This supersized kit includes Nads for Men All Natural Hair Removal Gel. Leaves you touchably smooth and hair free for up to six weeks or longer. We've also included a chunk of prep soap with no added oils because it prepares your skin for the highest quality results. Included is this specially blended smoothing balm with a fresh and sensual scent to leave you irresistibly touchable. This instructional CD-ROM is included free and guarantees great results with Nads for Men. This entire supersized kit is yours through this limited television offer for only $29.95. Have your credit card ready and order now. We also accept checks over the phone just like credit cards. Look good, feel great. Get Aussie Nads for Men now. Welcome back to the Outdoor Channel RC Championships here on Whistle Stops. I'm Wade Sherman, and our leader is still the number five, driven by Gene Hickerson, followed by Davis Moran and Ray Norty. Uh-oh, trouble. Bouncing and spinning over, but landing upright is Hickerson, and I don't think he lost the lead there. It's the number five, Gene Hickerson, still your leader, followed by the eight of Todd Tanner and the zero of Davis Moran. About five minutes left in the race. Number five still out in front. Screaming down the front straight. Hickerson looks to be in control. Your leader is slowing. He's off the track in the pits. It looks like a splash and go. Real quick one for Gene Hickerson back out on the track. He should have enough gas to go the distance. He holds his lead. Reaching speeds of 50 miles an hour on the front straight, your leader still the five, followed by the eight of Todd Tanner and the zero of Davis Moran. Race is winding down now. Hickerson still with a comfortable lead.
Wickerson approaching some lap traffic. This could be a factor in the race. As they head for the finish, it's the five, the eight, the four, and the zero. Gene Hickerson with less than a minute to go. Looks like he is going to hang on after that last minute splash and go. We've got a report that the four has died on the track. Ray Norty is out of the race. That moves Davis Moran into third. It's the five, the eight, the zero. Gene Hickerson coming towards the checkered flag. The race will be over his next time by. All he's got to do is keep it clean for the last few seconds here, and Gene Hickerson will have himself a victory. There's a car upside down, and across the line comes Gene Hickerson to victory. Your top three, the number five of Gene Hickerson, the number eight of Todd Tanner, and the zero of Davis Moran. Congratulations, guys. Well, that's going to do it for a couple of exciting races here from the Outdoor Channel RC Championships. To recap, the top three in the 110 scale Expert A main, the winner, number seven, John Brazy. In second place, the number two of Albert Gardado, and in third, the number eight of Todd Cameron. Looking at the results of the 1-8 scale Expert A main, your winner, Gene Hickerson, finishing second, the number eight of Todd Tanner, and it was Davis Moran driving the zero in third. Thanks for watching the first Outdoor Channel RC Championships from Lake Paris Race Park. The event was so successful, we're going to do it again next year, and we hope to see you there at the Lake Paris Fairgrounds. Thanks to GL Cooper and all the folks at LPRP, we hope you liked tonight's show. We'll see you again next week and every week right here on Whistle Stops. Good night, all. A long steel rail and a short cross tie. I'm on my way back home. I'm on that train, the king of them all, that streamlined cannonball. She moves alone like a cannonball, like a star in its heavenly flight. That lonesome sound from the whistle.